Now with the database explorer in Toad for DB2, there's some filtering mechanisms. The first thing you'll notice is that the top level control lists the schema. So in this instance, I'm on tables, so I'm displaying all the tables for the administrator schema. If I change that to another schema, say stage, this is going to show me all the tables that are qualified with the creator or schema of stage. I'm going to jump back to administrator. And again, this is the entire list of tables, and it could be very a very large list. So we give you ways to filter on the name. If I wanted, for example, to see all the names that contain um, EMP, for like employee tables, I could just type in EMP and hit enter. And this is going to show you the tables that have a lowercase EMP name of them. If I want an uppercase, I could just type in uppercase EMP, and you could see this will list all the tables that have EMP, uppercase EMP in their name. So it's a pretty nice and quick way of filtering, allowing you to filter. Now we also provide advanced filtering as well. So if you click on this button, it will bring up a filtering dialog that allows you to create pretty complex filters on things such as, you know, maybe which table spaces. You only want to show tables in a certain table space or uh, that have been created after a certain time. And we have certain uh, search criteria. So not only can you say uh, like the string, if you enter a string for the name, it could be used in a, you know, starts with, ends with, like clause, equals. So there's many different uh, search criteria or search conditioning that can be specified to allow this filtering to be very, very strong filtering. And that stays per um, schema. So if I jump back to the stage schema, you'll see that it is not filtered. Right now there's no filter, but if I jump back to administrator, so schemas are pretty much defined and, and kept in Toad uh, by schema. So that's a pretty cool thing as well, by schema and type. So if I jump to indexes, you'll see that there is no filter on my indexes. All right. Now, as you saw before, when I was typing, typing in upper and lower case, it was matching only on upper and lower case. So if I type in a lower case EMP, this list is matching only on the lower case. There's a an option that we've introduced to the toad that to ignore that case. And I'll show you that right now. So this is another filter enhancement. So if you go to tools, options, there's many options, but the one I'm talking about right now is do not use case sensitive filtering. So if I click OK, I come back here, I enter uh, uppercase EMP. You'll see that. You will see that now an uppercase EMP and a lowercase EMP now match both upper and lower case. So you don't have to worry about typing in the correct case here. Our filters will work and uh, you should be very satisfied with how our filtering works in, in that manner. 